This episode was made possible by a donation from Studio Me, an innovative space for custom high-quality video, photo, and audio production of users of all skill levels. Located in East Liberty, Pittsburgh. February of last year, I found myself in between jobs and I spent my days filling out resumes and my nights performing music. And there was one February night where my friend Pete and I went out on the street to perform and we soon found ourselves with a guitar case full of money. A uh, gentleman came up asking for spare change and we gave him everything in the guitar case. And that's how this whole journey began. We try to find out what other cool things we could do with the money from music and how we could help people along the way. One of the cool things we did was feature musicians in our videos. One musician in particular, his name is Bryce Vine, and we love his music. He's from Los Angeles, California, and we've used his song twice, once in episode five and once in episode eight. And he reached out to us to say that he liked what we were doing, and he, he suggested we reach out to his friend Dan, who runs a nonprofit called Barn Sanctuary. Now, Barn Sanctuary is just outside of Ann Arbor, Michigan, and what they do is they save and rescue farm animals who are being abused or going to be slaughtered. And Dan has taken his family farm and turned it into a sanctuary for these farm animals. He has pigs, cows, goats, chickens, and he treats them all like pets. So we're gonna go up to Barn Sanctuary today to meet Bryce Vine and meet Dan and learn more about their mission and see if we can raise some money along the way with music. But if everything changes, we will never be strangers. Me love I will always be late. And then when we did our eighth episode, which was like it started to kind of take shape, we used uh, private school. So around that time, I think we, we connected yeah, to each around. other. And it was the first, like we we gotten permission from musicians to use the music before, but it's the first time I actually like talked to someone where you were like, hey, feel free, just give me credit, but use it anything you want for what you're doing. And that was like such a vote of confidence for us because this is all new territory to have this all connecting the dots. You remember you were like, you got hit with my boy Dan. Yeah, man. And it's yeah. all working now. It's pretty, pretty wild. So cool. Yeah. This is exactly w why this lifestyle is fun. The yeah. freedom to travel the country and the world and connect people like this is it's pretty much the yeah. best thing it's ever. Dream. Yeah, yeah. It sure is. It's a crazy moment to have this opportunity yeah, to kind of do it again. You see, don't get that chance. Too, yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Well, I'm glad you guys are here. Dude, Want to go meet some animals? Let's, let's Absolutely. Animals. Yeah. <laughs> This is bigger than my puppy. Uh, they call her a broiler chicken. So when we got her at five weeks, she was already eight pounds. Um, they go to slaughter in between six to eight weeks for your chicken at the grocery store. You know, you want to buy a whole chicken? Eight weeks old. That's it. I'm sick of being bored. I'm sick of always stressing over shit I could ignore. I guess it's just my own. And they're smarter than dogs, man. Yeah. Yep. They need to release it now because they're genetically modified to carry so much milk. Yeah. Jeez. You know, back in the 40s, yeah. like, it was a lot less than what it is now. Like, you don't think about the fact that a cow has to be pregnant to produce milk, and that means that they're continually pregnant. We probably should start off by introducing our guests. Uh, not Dan and Bryce, but... Our, our guests in our hands right now. Do you want to tell us their names real quick? Yes, this is Ellen, this is Twitch, and that's Portia right there. Awesome. And they're uh, some young Nigerian dwarf goats. And I'm here with Dan, the owner of Barn Sanctuary, and to his left, Bryce Vine, his friend, musician extraordinaire. So we have a ton of animals around us right now, as we kind of figured we would. Yeah. <laughs> but what I would like to know about is when people donate to Barn Sanctuary, how does that money get used? How does it help animals like Ellen here? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, those, that money goes directly towards the animals, like medical expenses and feed and these cute little jackets. Nice. What are you doing there? You gotta go down. What's up? Okay, so it goes through their feed and uh, you know all animal care, you know straw for bedding, and then we got some hay. Um, so what's cool is that we have four staff members, but there's a foundation that helps pay for those salaries Great. so all donations coming from uh, the public literally go directly towards the animals so yeah so this is your family farm you were saying this is actually the 140th year 
Yes, this farm is centennial technically, so it's the uh, 140th anniversary this year. Wow. Uh, been in the same family, so yeah. And it's, how, how many animals right now do you have on the farm? We currently have 32 animals, uh, everywhere, everything from turkeys, chickens, to goats, sheep. Goats, you say? Yeah, goats. Yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, <laughs> Go figure. So yeah. uh, the two of you both were growing up outside of Los Angeles, and you've known each other for how long now? Oh man, uh, since we were 13? Yeah, so 15, 16 years? Yeah, 16 crazy. Years. Wow. We yeah. met in choir class. Yeah, seventh okay. grade. <laughs> so you got the music bug too? Yeah, I did. Then I hit, <laughs> I hit puberty and it just went out the door, yeah. I guess. He was never very good. No. <laughs> you guys went in very different directions. Oh yeah. So it's pretty remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as we're holding I don't think it gets yeah. much more different yeah. than the directions that we went. What's better than rescuing farm animals, right? <laughs> so. And around the same time, your music's been getting more and more popular. So you've been touring around. You said you've been out here to Barn Sanctuary before, though, visiting. Yeah, on the last tour that we did, uh, it was my first time actually seeing what Dan had accomplished already. Was it shocking and to see all this? It was shocking knowing somebody as long as I've known Dan, and then all of a sudden he's like, Noah's Ark. <laughs> it, was kind of, it was like, I was just like, wow. I mean, he, like you said, he was doing tech, and, and he was decided, oh, you know what? Instead, I think I'm going to do something great for the planet. Wow. And, uh, he, and he really, we're real proud of him. We're all proud of him. And then Dan, Bryce is now getting over a million streams a month on Spotify. What's that like for you to realize how the entire country is getting behind his music? I mean, I feel like being a childhood friend, we always knew that he was going to make it. It was just a matter of when. When it, you know, started. I mean, you've always been a musician. A you tried to get me to play the drums, and I was tone deaf immediately. I mean, but how can you be tone deaf playing the drums? <laughs> <laughs> you found a way. Found but, a way. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, we're super proud of him too. He's exploding, and you know, getting signed by Warner was huge, and that's Thanks. awesome. I told him that we went to our we went to our ten year high school reunion. Yeah, that and crazy. It, right after he was like featured on Ellen, and I yeah. had just gotten signed to Warner Brothers, and we were like, "This is gonna be really fun for us. Yeah. Like, yeah. This yeah. is gonna be a fun thing." It's gonna for be us. a good night. <laughs> Should roll in there with like Dumb and Dumber suits on. We haven't changed at all. Nothing's changed. <laughs> no, but uh, but I mean, he's really put in the work for this man, yeah. and like. You know, and the point of Barn Sanctuary is to open our doors to the public to come and see farm animals in a different light yeah. that they've never seen them before. I, I mean, I didn't grow up with farm animals, so this is new to me too. Yeah. So totally. when someone sees a video of me like frolicking with cows, that's the first time I've been doing that. And yeah. it's just like, I didn't know they liked to do that. And I mean, you know, you, you can really see each animal as an individual rather than, you know, just, you know, beef on a plate, you know. Totally. So. Yeah. So the plan for us right now is tomorrow we're going to head to Bryce's show in Columbus and along the way maybe stop in Ann Arbor to raise some money for Barn Sanctuary, play some tunes, <laughs> hang out Rich. with our friends here. Uh, but we want to say thank you both yes. for being a part of this. So we yeah. appreciate it very and much. Of course, man. Thanks a lot for coming out here and can't wait for you to play with the rest of the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, <laughs> Andy. Day one is complete. We're wrapping up here at Barn Sanctuary. We had an awesome time yesterday. We got to meet Dan and a lot of animals and learn about the cause here and how they support them and rescue them. We also got to meet Bryce Vine, Dan's friend. And today what we're gonna do is head down to Columbus, Ohio. Where we're gonna meet Bryce for his sold out show at Columbus, Ohio to raise even more money for Barn Sanctuary. Come along. I want this forever. Just you in the grotto with nothing but your nights on We keep all the lights on, same again tomorrow We don't need no bottle Purple color lip gloss, room with the saguaro Ain't nowhere I would rather be Right between your holidays Coffee on the Flintstone, jewelry on the ottoman Baby, let me in uh, For I get way too adamant about it Love the way you shiver Dig into my shoulder blades Feel it when you quiver Higher level elevate You could be the renegade Body to a glide Harrison and Julie I'm laughing because we did do our best to do vegan this weekend uh, Definitely say the most stressful part was going out and like shopping for stuff that everyone was going to eat Baked meat, your vegetables You know, some snacks to go along with each meal We found those really good nourish bowls which, you know, my A plus cooking skills throwing stuff in the microwave Paid out really good for a quick lunch. Yeah. 
And all these other girls keep wondering what I'm loving you for. Cause you're the here in Michigan, and my, uh, my best friend since I was 14 years old, here a couple of years ago, started a uh, barn sanctuary for abused barn animals, and uh, a team is here to collect donations for them. He was featured on Ellen, it's called the Barn Sanctuary. If you follow me on Instagram, you see it. But yeah, it's a good thing. And uh, I have to shout it out because he's a better human than I am, so the best I can do is ride his coach. Here we go. Wake up in Vegas and I lose a couple grand. I take a couple shots, I'm feeling good again. I told my girl that I was going straight home. Yeah, right. I hope she doesn't see the photos on my phone. All right, I done a couple things you'll never hear about. Like when I passed out inside an in and out. I told my mama I was going straight home. I got arrested climbing telephone poles. All right, I ain't proud of So join me at the carnival All legends die young So we're 